One of the key benefits to designing assemblies in SOLIDWORKS is the ability to spot errors before your designs are manufactured. In this example, we'll take a look at interference detection, a useful tool that will help you identify where your components might not fit together properly. The interference detection tool is launched by clicking the interference detection icon in the Evaluate toolbar or from the tool's drop-down menu. Here in the Property Manager, you can see that by default, SOLIDWORKS has listed the name of my assembly. If I click the Calculate button now, SOLIDWORKS will inspect the entire assembly for fit errors. I'm going to clear this selection by right-clicking and picking Clear Selections. Instead of analyzing the entire assembly, it's sometimes more efficient to analyze small sections at a time, especially if you're working on a complicated assembly with many parts. This reduces the number crunching that SOLIDWORKS has to do, making the inspection quick and also keeps the results easy for you to review. I'll start by selecting these two parts and click Calculate to run the interference detection. SOLIDWORKS reports any interferences found in this box here. If this box is unchecked, then a list of all the interferences are displayed by the interference itself, and clicking on the plus will display the two components involved in the interference. To see the interference, click on it, and the interference area highlights. By checking this box, the interferences are displayed by the part. This can be helpful if Pick whatever option works for you, or you can dynamically change this after you've done your check. Once interferences have been found in an assembly, it's up to you as a designer to decide what changes need to be made. Remember to run one last check after making your design changes just to make sure you've taken care of any problems. 